It's All You Can Vegas. Hey everybody, it's Derek, and I'm here at the Gold Coast Casino in Las Vegas, and I am at the Ports of Call Buffet. I probably wouldn't come here to the Gold Coast Buffet if I wasn't starving. But when you want to eat right away, if you're in the Gold Coast, I mean, for $7.99, which is what you can get this buffet for if you have the Sapphire level card, well, that's like the same as a Subway footlong. So if I can get that much value out of my $7.99, I'll be pretty happy with this buffet. Coming up to the Italian section, where there's pizza. Lasagna, some chicken parmesan, spaghetti. Hey, like Subway subs. Refried beans, taco meat, sopas. This is chayote. Arroz con polo, pollo. Pork carnitas, cheese enchiladas. This is popular, the carving station. It's a very rare brisket. Oh, it's brisket, that's why it's supposed to be red. Mashed potato stuffing. Fried chicken. Fried chicken. Ribs. Some kimchi. Chinese food, fried rice, some kind of general so chicken, beef stir fry, chow mein, and vegetable spring rolls. Here's some fixins for Asian food. Oh, it's this, here's the Mongolian station. They'll make you things. I guess that's what this is for. You select your your Mongolian veggies of choice and then you ask for beef or chicken and your salt. Oh, ramen soup broth. Chicken adobo. Hey, rice pilaf. This place is pretty popular. And look, there is seafood. There's like crawfish. Not sure what that is. Oh, gumbo. That's gumbo. And Brussels sprouts, baked tuna. This is tuna. It's a little dry. Ah, uh, here's the salad. Oh, these are like, oh, potato salad, tuna salad, chicken salad, stuff like that. And there is actually a full salad bar over here. Very popular with the ladies. Here's some soups. This says split pea soup and chicken noodle. Yep, there's noodles in there and some chicken. Here's like fruit stuff. Watermelon, other melon. And that's pretty much it. The desserts, everybody loves the desserts too. So there's an Italian station, Mexican, barbecue American, Chinese, Mongolian, and seafood. All right, I got my first plate. This is chicken parmesan over spaghetti, fried chicken, mashed potatoes, a rib, I don't even remember if it was beef or pork, and some pork carnitas with a flour tortilla and a little guacamole. Here's the cheese enchilada, chicken adobo, tuna, corned beef brisket, sope, you make it yourself, and carnitas. All right, let's dig in to some of this food. Fried chicken. This 
fine. It's like it's like getting fried chicken at the grocery store or something. Mashed potatoes. I have high hopes for this chicken parmesan. It's like somewhere between Olive Garden and a TV dinner, which is just about right for the price. Let's go taste this enchilada. A little bit of spice in the enchilada. Oh, it really kicks in after a second. Fair amount of spice. Need some guacamole. Let's try this brisket. It's tender, has that corned beef flavor. It's like a deli sandwich, deli sandwich meat. That's definitely better than Subway. I almost missed this the first time I looked over the buffet, but check this out. Burgers. Just like, get a bun. And a burger. Ooh, this thing is greasy. It's covered in grease, hot grease. Yikes. Careful out there. Don't get the plastic. Oh, look at that. Swimming in grease. That's going to be so delicious. I'm serious. Now, where's the condiments? I don't really want to put this on it. Oh, maybe over here. Oh yeah, this looks like it. Here's the burger toppings. Need more space to balance your plate. Right. Mustard. <laughs> yes, I do need a little more space. <laughs> right? I'm about ready to drop all my food. Now the ketchup. Don't see ketchup. Maybe over here, now this is the Asian toppings. Sambal, sriracha, that's not ketchup. Maybe I can put spaghetti sauce. Wait, how about this? No, that's, this is Mexican toppings. I guess I'm gonna put spaghetti sauce instead of ketchup. Hey, the marinara sauce is, is gone. Maybe someone's trying to stop me from making a terrible mistake. Well, let me look at the other side of the salad bar. I need to find some ketchup for my burger because it's got mustard on it, but no burger is complete without ketchup. Sour sauce, how about that? Sweet and sour sauce, it's red. <laughs> I'm just looking for anything red now. Did I miss it? There's cranberry sauce. Can I miss it? Is that what this is? I think so. Yep, that's what they're looking for, okay. Have you seen any ketchup anywhere? Uh, no. <laughs> it's gotta be over there somewhere. I know. Nobody can find the ketchup. Hey, that turkey does look good. Can I get some turkey? Do you know where the ketchup is? Ketchup? Ketchup. Oh, on the table. Oh, on the actual tables. Yes, oh, okay, sir. Yes. thank you. Well, that solves that. So ketchup is on your table. Should have known. All right. 
get that cranberry sauce. It must have stuffing or something over here too, right? Here we go. Now it's turning into a real Thanksgiving. That stuffing looks terrible. It's like gooey. All right. Now I think I've got a proper plate. I've got turkey, gravy, cranberry sauce, stuffing, and a hamburger. That's an all-American lunch. There's that ketchup. Finally. All right. All right, let's try this burger. together. I like my burgers nice and flat. Like a fast food burger. Mm, look at that. It tastes like a fast food burger. It tastes like a like a kid's a kid's burger. In other words it tastes great. Try this turkey. It's okay. That's see the stuffing, a little gooey, kind of pasty. <laughs> Actually, tastes fine. You can get over the texture. It tastes like Thanksgiving. Can't leave here without dessert. So let's see what there is to eat. There's ice cream. There's actually a lot of flavors here. Vanilla, passion fruit, chocolate, mint chip, mango, strawberry, coffee, lemon even. Looks like a peppermint sorbet back there. And there's Hawaiian frost frozen dairy treats. Coconut and pineapple, well that is exotic. Luckily, my favorite flavor, vanilla. There's two, two dispensers of it, so I might have to get some of that. There's even toppings and cones. Let's see what else. Oh yeah, this is actually really good. This is the, you could like a make it yourself strawberry shortcake. I have had this before. It's like getting like a Sara Lee, it's like a Sara Lee pound cake or something. That's about, that's about how I like my strawberry shortcake. And there's other prepared pies and things. Oh, bread pudding, I like that too. And rice, is that, is that rice pudding? That looks good, I love the rice pudding. I don't have enough hands. Is that rice pudding? Yeah. I love rice pudding. And you can put some cinnamon on. Cinnamon, awesome. Cinnamon is good for you. I'm gonna get some for sure. Thank you. Tip of the day: put cinnamon on your rice pudding. Cinnamon is good for you. Because I had to get this donut, this little tiny donut. It's like a baby donut. So cute. Not bad, really. Tastes like a Dunkin' Donut. I could eat enough of these, too. Like, I could just eat these. I could come in here, pay $7.99. Donuts. All right, let's try the strawberry shortcake with whipped cream. Always good. And the bread pudding with cinnamon. It's 
a lot of raw cinnamon in one bite. But it's good for you. It is good for you. Well, here's the pineapple and the coconut sorbet, and of course the vanilla ice cream with a cone. You know, honestly, if I was in the habit of coming to the Gold Coast every day, I'd probably eat here every day at the Porta Call Buffet. The price is right, and you know, the food, the food's not great, but it's good enough for the price. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave a comment and let me know what you think about the Gold Coast Buffet. And be sure to subscribe for more, because there's always more to eat when it's all you can bake.